children this is second video of part 1 unit 5 factors in this video you will learn about divisibility rules and building factor trees let us begin with the divisibility rules first we have the divisibility rule of 2 here we can see the multiplication table of 2 Two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. I hope you all are very thorough with the table of two, the multiplication table of two. When we look at the product, we can see that the ones place has two, four, six, eight, zero. Again, two, four, six, eight, zero is continued. So the rule of two, the divisibility rule of two, is that. if the digit in the ones place of a number is even that is if the ones place has 0 2 4 6 or 8 then the number is divisible by 2 now let it let us check this rule with the help of an example some more examples we have ahead so 80 80 has 0 in the ones place yes it can be divisible by 2 The next example is sixty-four. Sixty-four has four in the ones place, so this is also divisible by two. Next example is fifty-eight. Fifty-eight has eight in the ones place, so this number is also divisible by two. The next example is forty-nine. Forty-nine has nine in the ones place, so it cannot be divisible by two. So forty-nine is not divisible by two. the next is the divisibility rule of 5 here you can find the multiplication table of 5 when 5 is multiplied with 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on in the product we can find that there is 5 0 5 0 and 5 0 which is continued further in the ones place so in the ones place you can only find either 5 or 0 So, what is the divisibility rule of five? It is if the digit in the ones place of a number is zero or five, the number is divisible by five. Let us see some examples. Ninety-five is ninety-five divisible by five? Yes, because there is five in the ones place, so it is divisible by five. The next example is seventy. Seventy is also divisible by five. because there is zero in the ones place so it is divisible by 5 the next number is 82 is 82 divisible by 5 think no why because we don't find zero or 5 in the ones place we have 2 in the ones place so 82 is not divisible by 5 so dear students remember the divisibility rule of 5 is that if the digit in the ones place of a number is 0 or 5 the number is divisible by 5 the next divisibility rule is the divisibility rule of 10 here in table of 10 when 10 is multiplied with 1 2 3 4 5 and so on you can see in the product the ones place has 0 all numbers have zero in the ones place so the rule is that if the digit in the ones place of a number is zero then the number is divisible by 10 this is a rule for 10 let us see the example 16 this number is divisible by 10 because it has zero in the ones place the next example is 90 this also has zero in the ones place so it is divisible by 10 next example is 47 the number 47 will it be divisible by 10 no because there is 7 in the ones place so when there is zero only then the number will be divisible by 10 so 47 is not divisible by 10 now children let us note this point a number ending with zero is divisible by 5 10 and 2 Let us check that with the help of an example. Eighty, eighty is divisible by five, 
10 and 2. Now let us check that 80. What is the rule for 5? Let us check for 5 first. The rule for 5 is the 1's place should have 0 or 5. Yes, there is a 0 in 1's place. The next number is for 10. By divisibility by 10. Yes, it is divisible by 10 because the rule says that there must be 0 in the 1's place for 10. Now, for uh, this number to be divisible by 2, the number in the 1's place must be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Yes, there is a 0 in the 1's place. So, 80 is divisible by 5, 10 and 2. The next is the divisibility rule of 3. Here in the table of 3, you can see that 3 1s are is 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12 and so on. I hope you all are very thorough with the multiplication table of 3. Here from 3 1s are till 3 3s are the products are 1 digit 3, 6 and 9. After that you can see that they are 2 digit numbers. So now when we add the digits of this number 12 we get 1 plus 2 is 3. When we add 1 plus 5 we get 6. Next when we add 1 and 8 we get 9. When we add 2 and 1 we get 3. When we add 2 and 4 we get 6. Next 2 plus 7 we get 9. 3 and 0 we get 3. So we can observe that the products have 3, 6, 9. After that, after adding the digits, since they are two digit products, we again get 3, 6, 9, which is repeated again. Now, what is the rule? The rule says that add the digits of the number. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. Let us see this with the help of an example. Some examples. 54, 5 plus 4 is 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3 or 9 comes in the table of 3. We can say that 54 is also divisible by 3. The next example, 87. 8 plus 7 is 15. So, 15 comes in the table of 3 or 15 is divisible by 3. So, since 15 is divisible by 3, we can say that 87 is also divisible by 3. The next example, 72. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3 or 9 comes in the table of 3. So, since 9 is divisible by 3, 72 is also divisible by 3. The next example is 67. 67, 6 plus 7 is 13. Let us check whether 13 comes in the table of 3. No, we can't find 13 in the table of 3. So, we can say that since 13 is not divisible by 3, 67 is also not divisible by 3. So, the rule is that if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. The next is the divisibility rule of 9. Here we have the multiplication table of 9. 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18, 9 3s are 27, 9 4s are 36, 9 5s are 45, 9 6s are 54, 9 7s are 63, 9 8s are 72, 9 9s are 81 and 9 10s are 90. Now, after 9 1s are, you have the product as 2 digits. So, if you find the sum of the digits of 18, you get 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 7 is also 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. 5 plus 4 is also 9. 6 plus 3 is 9, 7 plus 2 is 9, 8 plus 1 is also 9, 9 plus 0 is 9. So, what is the rule? The rule says that 
if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 9 then the number is divisible by 9 now let us check this rule with the help of some examples 135 135 we have to check whether it is divisible by 9 so what is the rule we have to apply the rule here we have to find the sum of the digits 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 9 the sum of the digits is 9 and 9 is divisible by 9 or it comes in the table of 9 so we can say that 135 is divisible by 9 the next example is 207 let us find the sum of the digits first 2 plus 0 plus 7 so 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 7 is 9 the sum of the digits is 9 so since the sum of the digits is 9 is divisible by 9 so we can say that 207 is also divisible by 9 the next example is 452 let us find the sum of the digits 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 2 is 11 the sum of the digits in this number 452 is 11 since 11 is not in the table of 9 or 11 is not divisible by 9 we can say that 452 is not divisible by 9 students remember this point a number divisible by 9 is also divisible by 3 so the numbers which are divisible by 9 will also be divisible by 3 please note this point building factor trees Many numbers can be built by multiplying more than two factors. Now let us take the example of 8. 8 can be built with two factors, 2 into 4. And 8 can also be built with three factors, 2 into 2 into 2. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So factor trees help us find ways of making a number by multiplying. Now, let us build a factor tree for the number 30. Let us write the factors of 30 in this way. 30 is written as 5, 6 are 30. Here, 5. Can we break up 5 further? No. We have to use 1 here. If at all, we have to break up. The circle number 6 can be further broken up. So, we can break up 6 but 5 we bring down as it is 5 into 6 is further broken up as 3 2s are 6 now when we see the last row we can see that the numbers are 5 3 and 2 which cannot be further broken up if at all we have to break up we have to use 1 as the factor but we stop when we have to use 1 as the factor so this is the factor tree of 30 we give a, we have another way where we can build factor tree for 30 30 can be written as 3 tens are 30 here in this 3 can be brought down as it is as we have to use 1 as a factor here so 10 can be further divided or further broken up as 2 into 5 now when we see the last row in this we can see that 3, 2 and 5 which have 1 as the factor if we further break up. So we stop with this. We can see that the last row in both the factor trees are the same. Here 5 into 3 into 2, 3 into 2 into 5. Now these are the two factor trees of 30. We try to give it as many branches as possible. And the circle numbers can be further broken up. These are the points to remember when we build factor trees. We stop when we need to use 1 as a factor. Let us see another example. Make a factor tree of 24. Do not use 1 as a factor. Make a factor tree of 24. Do not use 1 as a factor. Now let us write the number 24 and circle it because we are going to find the factors of 24. So the factors of 24 are 6, 4s are 24. 6 and 4 are the factors. Now 6 and 4 
are circled because we can further break up into its factors. 6 is further broken up as 2 3s are and 4 is further broken up as 2 2s are. Now if we see this row 2 into 3 into 2 into 2 all these numbers cannot be further broken up. If we have to break up these numbers then we will have to use 1 as the factor. But in the question we have do not use 1 as the factor. Now let us build the factor 3 of 24 in other way. Let us use other factors. 24 can be written as 12 to are. Now 12 is circled. So 12 can be further broken up as 3 4s are or 4 3s are into 2 is brought down as it is. In this row 4 is circled means 4 can be further broken up. 4 can be broken up as 2 2s are into 3 is brought down as it is, 2 is brought down as it is. Now if we see the last row of these two factor trees, of these two factor trees, they are the same. The factors are the same. So these are the two ways of making factor trees of the number 24. Children, with this we finish today's session of unit 5 factors. Thank you children.